A mysterious criminal who calls himself the Eagle is plotting against the directors of an airplane factory whom he has tried to frighten with warnings written on the sky in smoke and fire. The directors have reason to suspect that the Eagle is Nathan Gregory, owner of a small carnival show, who has accused them of stealing from him an invention that is worth a fortune. Craig McCoy, stunt flyer with the carnival, and his friend the ventriloquist are trapped by agents of the Eagle in an office which they have discovered to be the Eagle's headquarters. Try the other door. Quick, a chair. down the fire escape. We can beat him by the stairs. Step on it, Craig. Step on it. We're not gaining on them. Take a shot at their tires. Oh, and throw him in the car. What about this other mug here? Oh, McCoy is the only one we want. pay you owe me. Why, you know you're going to get your money when I get it. Are you not going to turn me down on your Bob? Oh, of course not. I was only kidding, Skipper. Get back in your 
ten. What's the idea? Get back. Here, put this on. You'll think you're me. Anyone else in here? Nobody but me. All right, you stay here. Say, what's it worth to you to know where Gregory's in? Plenty. The cops are after Gregory. Where is he? I don't know. Well, we've got to find him. Craig's been kidnapped by the Eagles gang. Let's go. Do you know where the skipper is, Bob? Watch the door, Heidi. I've got bad news for you, skipper. Something is up. Gardner is loose, and he's heading this way with Bob and the cop. Bob? That means he stole me out. Get in there, quick. That's Gregory, in my office. The game's up, Gregory. I've got you. Somebody's been kidding you, officer. What's the idea? You're trying to be funny? Oh, it's a trick. He was here. He couldn't have got out. That's where he is in that cabinet. Hey, listen. Are you trying to stall me while Gregory gets away? Oh, wait a minute. Can't you see it's a trick cabinet? What are you trying to pull on? Gregory is inside now. You're crazy. We just looked inside. Don't you understand? You can take the panel and turn it around. If you go out in front, you'll catch him. All right, I'll look once more. Better be there. Well, he ain't. He ain't there. Uh, how'd I pinch you for interfering with the law? But listen, officer, I want to tell you. So you tried to sell out the skipper, did you? You little rat. Let's forget it. Henry, what was the bad news you had? The Eagles bunch of kidnapped Craig. What happened? Keep him here till I report to the Eagles. We can't leave Craig in their hands. We've got to find him. No, not that way, Skipper. You'll run slap into the cops. I'll take care of this bird. Go and get me an empty trunk. You can't get a Skipper out in a trunk. The cops ain't that dumb. Listen, Mug, I'll furnish the brains. You furnish the beef. Get that trunk. Get up there and head him out on that runway, and I'll get him at the other end.
you got in that trunk? Nothing. Let's see. Open it up. Yeah, I can hear. Shut up, you mug. Come on, get it. All right, take it in. the idea? I ain't done nothing. You've got Gregory in there. I have not. Now I know he's in there. Open it up. Didn't I tell you it wouldn't work? Oh, so he is in there, huh? Come on, give me the keys. Gee, Wiss, I give it to him and it's locked up in there. Uh, now we'll have to take the trunk and all to the station. That was great work, boys. I'd give a dollar to see that cop's face when he opens the trunk and sees who's in it. <laughs> <laughs> and I would give two dollars to hear what the double crossy clown says when they started loose. <laughs> <laughs> Major Evans? Uh, this is Gregory speaking. No, not the Eagle, Gregory. I have something of the utmost importance to discuss with you and your directors. If you will remain at the factory, I'll be there as soon as possible. Daddy, you're not going to the airplane factory. They're holding Craig prisoner. I've got to do something to help him. Oh, but those men are your enemies. You can't put yourself in their power. You wouldn't have me desert a friend who's risking his life to help me. Now, would you, Jean? Say, it's funny that we don't hear from... Why, Craig! We thought you were still a prisoner. Oh, I got loose. Say, the skipper has just gone to turn you loose. Gone? Where? To the factory. Why, he's meeting the uh, directors there. Won't you sit down? You're holding Craig McCoy prisoner. I've come to make a deal for his release. What sort of deal, Gregory? You've built this business on the invention you stole from me. Let McCoy go and I'll sign over all my rights to the invention. Do you really mean to say that you had such an invention? Certainly I did. Then it's you who've been threatening us. No, I've never threatened you. That's just a charge you've trumped up against me, 
because you robbed me and wanted to get rid of me. Oh, that's idiotic. Now, wait a minute. You can't buy the McCoy's release from us, Gregory. In the first place, we haven't got it. Second place, we're not afraid of your claim. We bought a legitimate patent from the man who invented it. Prove that last statement, and I'll believe you're not holding McCoy prisoner. Green, you bought the patent. Isn't the bill of sale in the safe? Why, why yes, of course. Get Certainly. it, get it, will you please? All right. Here it is. 